Ćao svima, ja se zovem Đorđe, a vi pratite još jedan Balkan Rock Sessions. Ovoga puta imamo tu čast da ugostimo velikog blues muzičara koji je postao član British Blues Hall of Fame-a, Normana Bikera i njegov band. I gave you my best shot I had an empty gun I hung on to the dream But now the dream is gone They say it's never over Until the fat lady sings Now she's singing Tried to do me in She wanted a battle She's just about to win They say it's never over Till the fat lady sings Now she's singing Hello, Norman. Welcome to Balkan Rock Session. Oh, it's a great pleasure to be here. Oh, oh, uh, the, the pleasure is ours. <laughs> um, it's, a, it's a great T-shirt you have on. Oh, well, it's, it's in your honor, you know, yeah, so we have to yeah. do this. Yeah, we yeah. Have, I yeah. have the same, so, yeah. <laughs> awesome. You uh, are better at it than mine, no, but... So. No, no, I think uh, the, 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 our viewers would disagree, so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so tell me, how was, how was on your tour? The tour has been absolutely fantastic. It, it's been... Uh, we've played in so many countries, and... Uh, it's been great everywhere we've been. It's been 
because after the COVID thing, we thought it could be difficult and, and actually getting around has been fairly easy, which was, I think we were just lucky, you know, really that um, we didn't uh, get so many laws got changing and, and stuff. So it's been really good. And, uh, and it's, I was surprised after the lockdown that I thought maybe when we start touring, it's going to be very tiring, you know, after, uh, but it was different. It was, it was great because I'd, I'd had a rest. I think that's what it was. I probably needed to, and I'd had no choice. And, it, and when I came back, I, f I felt really revived and full of energy, you know. Yeah, yeah, we all had that time to to rest ourselves yeah, a bit, but, so. which we would never have done before, you yeah. know. So yeah, it's it's like a, like it a great was. pause from yeah. from all the yeah. all, all yeah. the work and everything. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, um, did you have a great time at the concert in Serbia? Where was the where was the best party actually? <laughs> the best parties were nearly everywhere. I have to say, I don't remember one venue that we played that wasn't good, and a lot of people there. They were always good and. Everywhere has been really fun, you know. I mean, I think a lot of people, again, back because of the COVID thing, I think they were so glad to have music back, you know, they were, and we were glad to be back. So it was a good party atmosphere generally, you know. But always in this area in Serbia, Croatia, Bosnia, we, all, we always love that. You know, yeah. <laughs>
what the other guys want. It is important to mention another big thing. Um, you have been inducted to the Blues Hall of Fame in 2017. Mm. Uh, what does that mean to you to be among the greats <laughs> of blues? It's the hardest thing, uh, hardest question I ever get asked because uh, there's so many great musicians out there that I would have thought should be in there. And I was, you know, when you got Mick Jagger and Keith Richard in there, I mean, as being well known, I mean, I was way down the pecking order of people knowing, you know, so. And when I first got the uh, told about it, I thought it was somebody having a joke. I thought it was one of my friends, you know, messing around. <laughs> and I, then I thought, oh, maybe I'll be nominated for something. And then when they said, no, you know, you're a le legendary musician from England. I thought, what? And then there was eight people, only eight. You know, Eric Clapton, Jeff Beck, John Mayle, Jack, you know, I'm in there with that, and I always felt a really strange. Even my friends say you know, when they see me on the TV or whatever being interviewed about it, they always say it's the only time I ever see you look nervous because <laughs> I feel a bit like a kid. You know, when you get good grades at school, and, and your parents go, "Oh, that's so." It was like that. A gig, you could talk about a gig, you could talk about records, but that's quite a weird thing because there are so many fantastic guitar players who I like that are not in there and so it, I felt really we honored I mean of, of course honored but you, you balanced me but it was a, it's a weird feeling actually I have to say <laughs> Thank you. 
out of my head I don't know, I don't know what I could tell you I could show you my bed Cause I got love, take it or leave it I got love, take it or leave it I got love, take it But if you leave it The drummer, Leon Djelkovic, was yeah. the producer of your last Well, record. yeah, it was a co-producer. We all produced it together, basically. But he who did uh, the mix and stuff like that, you know. But uh, that was a great a great thing to do. And uh, to do it in Zagreb was, was nice, in the studio there. And he, Leo was a very really good engineer and knows, knows his way around things. And we just did the album in four, about four days, 18 tracks. It just so just went so well. You know, the awesome. first day we started, we were supposed to just go on the Sunday evening, set the equipment ready for the day after to start. And we did four songs the f while we were setting up. It was so simple. So uh, it was a great, it was a great experience. And, me, and because Leo is younger and he, he's a good guitar player and singer and stuff, clever dick, you know, as we would say in England. <laughs> uh, and producer, so it was nice to have a, a younger element as well producing, because I've always produced my own stuff and other people. So it was nice to have a younger element, and, and he'd sort of tease me to do a bit, oh, sing it like this, you know, and it worked. You know, everybody had the import. It was good. You right, so so you, the album was recorded in four days? Yeah, yeah, it was about a week altogether, mm -hmm. you know, but the, the most of the recording was done in, in four days, you know. Great. Yeah, it was good. Well, not last night, the night before I came knocking on your door But you refused to let me in No substitute for what you have seen
To je bilo sve što smo vam pripremili za ovo izdanje Balkan Rock Sessionsa. Hvala vam što nas pratite, hvala Normanu Bikeru i njegovom bendu i hvala svima koji su podržali realizaciju ovog projekta. Ukoliko vam se dopada ovo što radimo i želite da nas podržite, evo nekoliko načina kako to možete da uradite. Subscribe-te se na naš YouTube kanal, pretplatite se na Patreon ili možete da kupite naš merch, odnosno Balkan Rock majici. Ukoliko imate neke ideje, sugestije ili kritike, uvek možete ostaviti dole u komentaru. Ako nas još uvek niste zapratili, možete to raditi na Instagramu i na Facebooku. A mi se vidimo u sljedećem izdanju Balkan Rock Sessions. Pozdrav od cijele ekipe. Ćao!